This is the last companion video for class 102, Modeling the Chinese Lantern, part 1. In this tutorial, we're going to go through the process of making the low LOD. In this project, this is going to be our first LOD that we make before moving on to the medium and high LODs. So first, I want to move this 3D cursor to the middle of the scene for neatness. So I'm going to go Shift C. And now the cursor is smack dab in the middle. Before moving on, I want to show you something here. So hit N to go to the transform sidebar. Now notice that we are in object mode, this is the object level that our transform location and rotation are all zeros and the scale is 1, 100% or 1 in decimal form. It's very important to keep your model zeroed on the object level so you can avoid future headaches with some modifiers and external programs. Also note that if I went into edit mode and I move stuff around. Go back here, everything is still zeroed. Okay. Now back to the project. Hit Control plus numpad period to center the view around the 3D cursor. You can use your scroll wheel, middle mouse button scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Hold down shift and the middle mouse button to pan. So first we want to tab to go into edit mode. Yeah, it's unselect everything there. We want to go to face select mode. Let's click the icon here. Right click to select the top face. Hold down middle mouse button and drag to rotate the view. Now let's hold shift and right click that face to add it to the selection. Now we have two faces selected. Let's hit X to delete the face. Go to numpad 1 to go back to front view. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hit Control A to select all. Now I want to scale the selection up on the Z axis only. All right. I want to use the manipulator widget down here. I'm going to add the scale manipulator to the widget by shift clicking it. So now I have both the translator and the scale manipulator selected. Now I'm going to hit the little scale handle and scale up so that it gets close to the grams there. Now I want to switch to edge select mode. But this time I'm going to switch using a different way. I'm going to hit control tab and hit edge. It doesn't matter which way you do it, it's just different ways, whichever works better for you. Okay, now I'm going to Alt, hold Alt and click this edge. And you see, instead of just clicking, getting, selecting the edge, I have the whole edge loop. I'm going to do the same down here. But this time I need to hold Shift so that I add this edge loop to the selection. So hold Shift, then Alt, then right click. Now you have two edge loops selected. 
All right, I'm going to go back to front view. Now I want to go to the specials menu. Hotkey for that is W. We want to go to subdivide smooth. Now you see that it added some edge rings to make it smooth. If you go over, don't click anything in the 3D view, go straight over to the tool shelf and you'll see options for this tool. Now for this particular time I want to make the smoothness a little bit bigger and put in two. Okay, It won't change how many cuts are in it, that's this number. This just makes the appearance smoother. All right. Now we want to add a loop cut to the model. A loop cut is basically going to cut the edges and make more geometry. All right. So to activate loop cut, we're going to do Control R. Now, it can go horizontally or vertically. We want it to go horizontally. So hover your cursor over one of the vertical rings. Left click, left click again, because we want to keep this in the center. All right. Now we're going to hit the hotkey S to scale this edge. We're going to move it outwards until it hits this line. I'm going to hold down shift to constrain this a little bit more. Shift makes you um, move a little slower so that you can get control over some options. Left click to confirm. Hit A to unselect the edges. Now we want to alt right click the top edge again. Remember that doing by doing holding alt and right clicking it, we're going to get the whole edge loop. We want to shift alt right click the bottom edge, get that whole edge loop again. Now we want to press E. The E key is a hot key for extrude. So we're going to hit E, but don't move right click to confirm it. Now we're going to scale it on the z-axis. You can hit the hotkey S then Z to constrain it. Now move out until you hit the reference lines. Left click. Now we've made our rim. Hit A to select the whole model. Press the W key to bring up the specials menu. This time we're going to go down to shade smooth. This will give it a smooth shading. Make sure that you don't pick smooth from that menu. They do two totally different things. Now we're going to hit A to unselect all. Let's switch to vertex mode. I'm going to do it from here this time. And I also want to click this button, limit selection to visible. When you turn it off, you can see through, see, you can see behind the faces. So I can select things that are in the back. which is what I want to do right now. Hit the B hotkey to bring up border select. Now I want to drag a selection over the bottom two rows of vertices. So just hold down the left mouse button and drag. Now I'm going to hit shift D to duplicate that selection. Don't move the cursor. Just left click 
to accept that duplication. Then use the translate manipulator, or I should say the translate scale manipulator at this moment, to move it down on the z axis. So to use the translate part of this manipulator right now, I want to hit this arrowhead. So I'm going to drag it down just a little bit. And then I want to hit scale, which is the SI key. Type in 0.95. Then left click to confirm that. So now that it scale inwards and not clipping into the rim. Unselect this by hitting A. Alt, right click this bottom edge, and then move it down with the translate manipulator. Hit A to unselect that. Now we want to make the supports. Put a little shift and pan down here. Zoom in a little bit. Now this time I'm actually going to move the 3D cursor because I want the 3D cursor to be up around here somewhere where I'm actually going to have the supports. When you add geometry for instance, if you add a cube, add a plane, add a sphere to another object, wherever the 3D cursor is, is where the origin of that new item is going to appear. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to go Shift A, add a cube. Okay. And then I'm going to scale this down I'm going to zoom in a little bit I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button to rotate my view unselect this go to face select mode Click here. Click there. Because you can see through it, I can actually click that bottom face through the side of this. And I'm going to hit X, delete faces. And go back to front view. I'm going to go to edge mode. I'm going to alt click. And you see I have the whole edge, edge loop there. I'm going to use the translate manipulator, bring it down a little bit. Then I'm going to alt right click the top edge drag it up. Now I'm going to hit Control L. What Control L does is select the link geometry. As you can see this cube is not connected to this cube. So when I hit Control L it's just going to select this part. If I clicked here and hit Control L, I'll just select that part because it's linked to geometry, but it doesn't get the tassel. It's definitely something handy to know when you're modeling. So let's do that again. Click any part of the support and hit Control L. Go back to front view. Now I'm going to duplicate this support over here. So Shift D, 
right left click to confirm and then just drag it over into place. Now I'm going to unselect this. I'm going to turn limit selection to visible back on. So now I can't see through the model. I'm going to go back to object mode. Show you another way to do the smooth shading with the object selected in object mode. You can go over to the tool shelf and hit under shading, hit smooth. So it fixed the supports that we added that weren't that were actually shaded flat. So now everything is shaded smooth. Now we have finished the low LOD for the model. If you are someone that's taking the class, you'll actually have a Blender source file to look at to compare it with. That's it for this class. Join me next video when we do class 103, which will be a continuation of this when we make the medium LOD and the high LOD. Until then, see you later.